From time to time, you might discover that an STL file has multiple individual files within it and you need to separate these. I'm going to show you an example of how to do this in MeshMixer. So I've opened up a file here to show you an example. This is one that was sent to me in a print service. The first thing you're going to have to do is go across to the edit and then separate shells. All being well, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do and you can then go to file and export or command E on a Mac and export each of those files individually and call them whatever you want. That's the first one but after that you can just then click the new file, use the shortcut command E or control E on a Windows and go through exporting all your files. Nice and easy. Of course a lot of slices enable you to do this as well, but the reason I've show, I'm showing you how to do this in Mesh Mixer is because it has another use. Sane said we opened up that file and it looked like this. In other words, it was full of errors. The separate function I just showed you would not work. And you'll see what happens here. When you go to separate the shells, all of the parts are separated, of course, but also the parts themselves are also separated even more so. So I'll undo that for now. What you'd want to do in this situation is to draw around and select each of the parts manually. Go across to the select button and then draw around your part. You can then go across to edit and separate, which you'll see is also the Y key. So thereafter, I can just draw around the parts again. Go to select and draw around the parts. And then press the Y key. Or use edit separate. It takes a little bit longer, but it does mean that you can still separate the files as you intend. It's then much easier sometimes to repair files once they have individually been isolated like this. So it's a handy tool to have in your arsenal. Also, sometimes when files are separated out like this, it means that your slicer can repair them themselves. Cura, for example, is really good at figuring out what a file should look like when they're in not too bad a situation such as these. Anyway, I hope that video was interesting and helpful. If it was, give it a like and do consider subscribing.